Escape, the story of Dr. Joseph Mengele, by Christy, Carlo, and Tanya. It was February 8, 1943, in the Nazi concentration camp, Auschwitz-Birkenau. It was in the dead of winter, and the wind howled like a coyote in the night. All was silent as soft snowflakes drifted to the ground. A soft, white blanket covered the entire city. Located in Poland, it was the largest concentration camp in Europe. Jews from across the continent were shipped here by train, not knowing where they were going and what would happen to them. Jana, a 16-year-old Jewish teenager, is writing to her mother from Auschwitz. Jana's family had been hiding in a sewer until a few days ago, when the Nazis found them hiding. They took away Jana and her twin sister, Samantha, and sent them to Auschwitz. Their parents had been sent to a different camp. Dear mother, Samantha and I just arrived. I'm sorry that I cannot tell you where we are. The Nazis might think we are disclosing information and kill us. We are doing fine, better than before when we hid in the dam sewer to escape the Nazis. After the Nazis discovered our hiding place and shipped me and Samantha in that big truck, I thought we were headed for the gas chambers, but they took us to this nice place. We are well fed and they even give us warm blankets at night. I hope you and father are doing okay. We miss you, Yana. Good morning, children. Oh, I'm so tired. Okay, children, line up so Uncle Mangele can give you your task for the day. Hello, my young ones. Has everyone been behaving lately? I brought something for you. Mengele was a German SS officer and a physician at Auschwitz-Birkenau. He used the prisoners of war at the camp to conduct human experiments for his research. He was most known for his interest in twins and prisoners with physical deformities. The prisoners often called him Uncle Mengele. Despite this, the people who were patients of Mengele were treated very well, better than other prisoners of war in other camps. They were given good food and a place to sleep. Each day, Mengele would call upon the people he would work on, and the rest would be free for the day. Okay. Today I need Yana and Samantha. The rest of you may go outside to play. Samantha, please come into my operating room. Panic rushed through me. What will happen to my sister? Mangalay never told us what he did with the people he called. Sometimes they will come back to the camp with missing limbs, and some never return. <laughs> Interesting. This one's small intestine has different properties than the one I saw yesterday. Now, I shall compare this with the other twin. <laughs> Yana, please step into my office. <laughs> 